Hello, in this section, I will tell you how to create a master page with the Visual Studio 2012. Master page is used for to create a consistent look of your website and you can use the static text and controls to create a master page. If you want to create a master page, so first of all, you need to create a website through file option. You can choose any language in Visual Basic or Visual C has. I choose Visual C has HP dot and empty website and you can choose the framework and set a website name. Go to Solution Explorer. So click on add, add new item and choose a master page. So you can see here the master page name is master page dot master. So dot master is extension of the master page. Click on add button to add the master page in your website. You can see here I have two content placeholder in the master page. This is the first, this is second. So content placeholder is used for where dynamic content will appear when page are displayed. Right? So first of all I need to create a template in the master page. So I remove the content placeholder from the master page and using the table tag to give the proper alignment of the template. This is my first row with the one column. I created the five rows in the master page. In the first row I will create the header of the website. In the last row I will create the footer of the website. So in the header I put a one logo of the website. You can see the output in the design view and you can see here um, you can also change the size of the table. I am using the inline CSS. Now you can see here this is the design of the page. Now in the second row I put some background color. same color I am using also here in the footer I put here copyright section this is the view in the design view go to source and in the toolbox from the toolbox I put a content placeholder in this row. So this is my content placeholder. This content placeholder ID is content placeholder 1. Go to design. You can see here this is the only one content placeholder in the web website. In the master page this is the header of the page and this is the footer of the page. Now you want to use this master page in different page in different web form just click on the solution explorer and click on the website go to add add new item create a new web form so my web form name is index.aspx if you want to use the master page in index.aspx so you need to click on the select master page option I checked here and click on add you can choose the master page which you want to use in this page I want to use the master page dot master in the index.spx. Click on OK. You can see here one content control will be added in the index.spx page. So you can see here this content one is using the content placeholder one. This content placeholder one is control is available in the master page dot master. This is the content placeholder one. Now you can see here index.spx go to design this this is the header and this is the footer is coming from the master page and in this uh, in, in this page you can add the, some text 
you can check the output just click on this debug button and click OK you can see the output thank you